House has just passed legislation that would make it easier for the VA secretary to fire workers for misconduct. So now it's the Senate's turn. Senator Marco Rubio is the lead sponsor of the VA accountability bill in the U.S. Senate. He joins us. Nice to see you, Senator. Nice to see you, Greta. Thanks for having so, me. So, Senator, what's the status of the bill in the U.S. Senate? So the House passed it. We have it in the Senate. I stood up on the floor today. I asked for unanimous consent, which basically means asking every senator to allow us to pass it. If we had done that, it would have gone straight to the president. But Bernie Sanders, on behalf of the Democrats, stood up and objected to it. He said we may one day pass it. It's a really good idea. But he doesn't want to do it now. He actually wants to have a hearing on it first. And I just don't understand that. It's a very simple bill. All it says is that, secretary, that the secretary or any future secretary appointed by this president, a Democratic president, can fire executives in the VA who aren't doing their jobs. Right now he can't do that. And uh, they blocked it. So unfortunately, members of Congress will head home for Memorial Day and veterans will keep waiting for accountability. And that's outrageous. What, couldn't, couldn't Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid corral Senator Sanders and say, look, don't do that, or, does, or did he expect that and know that he would try to block this? Well, they organized the block. I mean, the bottom line is that they, uh, they spent a couple hours today figuring out who they would get to go down there and object to it. They came up with all kinds of excuses as to why it couldn't pass. If they wanted to, it would have passed today. It would, we could have done something called hotline, where you basically call the offices and ask everyone to support it. They, 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 but it won't be in law. It's very simple. Today, if 100 senators had agreed, we could have sent this bill to the president. And next week, when the preliminary investigation returns, Shinseki could have started firing people that weren't doing their jobs. Instead, we'll have a hearing in June, according to, to, to the chairman. It's just unacceptable. Why in the world would anyone object to someone essentially being a CEO, like the, like the uh, secretary is of the VA, uh, having the authority to, to fire people who are, who are not doing their jobs at, at the highest levels and are actually causing big problems for others. The argument was that they want to be fair to these executive employees, that they don't want some new secretary to be able to come in and start firing people. Um, they want to have, make sure that they're protected. In essence, we want to give these bureaucrats protections that veterans don't have, and no one else has for that matter. Again, there's no logical reason other than the fact that, that uh, you know, they, they don't want to do it because it's our idea is, is the best I can come up with. You know what I don't understand? I'll take it even further than you. I don't understand why you're limiting this bill to simply uh, the Veterans uh, Administration. What about the IRS? What about uh, yeah. other agencies in the government? When, when these secretaries, when these cabinet officers know that people aren't doing their jobs, they're causing incredible consequences, might not be able to offload them to protect the American people who are paying their salaries. I, I agree with that. I just tried to make this pretty straightforward, though. I said, look, let's not complicate this. We have a crisis on our hands with veterans. Who could possibly be against it? Let's just narrowly tailor it. It's a bill that's already passed in the House, so it can become a law, and we can actually do it right before everyone heads back to their states for recess. So I just, I try, actually try to get something done here, not just a talking point, and I tried to make it as narrow as possible to eliminate objections. But again, excuses after excuses why it can't be done. Well, the American people have the option. They can call and, and email the uh, Senate Majority Leader and Senator uh, Bernie Sanders if they think this bill should be taken up and passed, or they can just uh, sit at home and, and suffer the consequences, which is horrible. I hope the American people speak up to at least give the authority to fire people who are not working. But uh, we'll wait and see what the American people